Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. The Buyer's Guide series has come to an end and as promised, today we are going fishing. Come along, it should be fun. We're back out on the river today. Today is just about going fun fishing. We've, uh, we've got all sorts of baits on deck. We've got a storm rolling in, but it's still fairly warm. Uh, the conditions look really good. The river's running super hard. It's running murky. I think we're gonna get them. Fish should be up, they should be moving, and hopefully they're gonna be aggressive. I don't know what I hooked, maybe a drum, it was strong, maybe a catfish. He took me over the back side of some rocks. You guys can see the super heavy current we're fishing. And he got me over a rock pile, I could just feel it sawing and then tink, just took everything. That is a rainbow. Would you look at that? A rainbow and he had a... Hey buddy. Was not expecting that as our first fish of the day. Can you believe that? Tactical DD, we're fishing a current break right out in the fast water. Go figure. He had a lamprey stuck to his back. I need to get him out of here too. Matt went with, with the rainbow, so I picked up the crank. Beautiful smallie. Thanks, dude. Get him. Big old smallie. Ball for a minute if you want it. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> Big old drum. Oh, come here. No, 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 no. on that mini rig. <laughs> Didn't even thrash it that bad. Look at that. Those drum pull so hard in the current. Golly. <laughs> drum? You don't need a net. 
place is doing work. <laughs> I'll take a net. Just because the line's so light and it's oh, downstream. What happened to you're on your own? Uh, you said I could have a net. <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Yeah, only. Ah. <laughs> it's bigger than mine. We got two short strikes on the spinner bait. I said that's not going to happen again. I picked up the underspin. Joked it. Now I, I wish it had been a short strike. He did joke it too. Got it. Mini underspin on a Mega Bass Flissa. That's a light combo. Big old fish. Hashtag not a drum. <laughs> Healthy little spot. Thanks, dude. Hit that little, that new little swammer on that mini underspin. Two feet of water, 20 feet of water. Doesn't seem to matter. I am on it. That is not what I expected to see back in the back of a shallow pocket. Just a gorgeous smallmouth. That Bill Lewis ATV throwing that bright orange. He crushed it. Genuinely didn't think we'd see a smallie back here. We're in two, two and a half feet of water and he was way in the back of that pocket. But I'll take him. Here. How'd you lift them? Front by one. <laughs> <laughs> On the pause. Got him. Burn, 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 stop. Drum. Oh. Dude, it is a drummy day. 
didn't like that crankbait anyway. <laughs> Dang it. Got him. Now we need a net. I'm not the drummy guy anymore. Good one. Nice. And we have found a pocket full of fish now. That's awesome. Did he come off? It came off. What was that on? It's on that uh, little DT6 Rapala. Yeah. Good job. Is that a right back? Largy. Largy, largy. Got the trifecta. Hey. What do you call it when you add drum and trout? <laughs> No, spotty. Thanks, dude. That DT6. Guys, it's really important. You know, we're fishing a river today, a lot, of, a lot of current stuff. It's really important to choose your angles, your casts. You know, Matt's making casts upstream. We're looking for these eddies. So as he's casting up front, I'm able to come from a different angle and cast back and hit those same areas, but from a different angle. And I don't know, we made four, five, six casts of this. Yeah. It wasn't until I came around the backside, threw it in there, and uh, caught that fish. So, so be aware of that and always check your angles and make multiple casts. Got a largey. There's the largey. <laughs> Thanks, bud. That swammer on the mini underspin. Hey, little buddy. The only thing I like doing more than catching fish is catching them while Tim's snagged. Nice one. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Look at that ATV just pinned up there. Chunker. Like we said in the beginning, today's just about having a good time. You know, we've been talking a lot of baits and gear every single day rolling through those buyer's guides that you guys requested but when that's over man it's fun to just get out and go fishing i'm really glad we get to bring you along to do it i'm retying right now because i like to be really careful you know one little nick this is 12 pound one little nick can be all it takes when you hook a big one you hit them hard and it'll pop so Constantly retying, constantly being careful, just so that we're prepared when the right one takes a shot. Oh, 
Come on, get out of there, get out of there. You got him. Get him? Yep, he was around the back of that dog. <laughs> Tucked up in there. Gotcha. He was clear up around the back of a dock. He had me wrapped in there. Nice chatterbait fish. Throw on that 4.5 spunk shad. We've got pretty dingy water, so I went with the dirty white color. But I don't know, I was just feeling chartreuse this morning, so I put that green pumpkin chartreuse on there. Just a bold pairing. It worked. Got one on the spinnerbait. Little spotty. I, I had an alarm on my electronics, so I reached down. It was like a little notification. I said okay to the notification. When I wound up, I had a fish on. That's our tactical underspin. It's the half ounce full rot with the 4.75 swammer on it. Pop it twice. <clears throat> Back on the board. A little bit of a drought for quite a while. Get that uh, ATV. Nice little spotty. Matt's been kicking my butt with that. Uh, with this bait, actually, huh? This is the one that you were throwing, or you were throwing the 1.0? That one. Chatterbait. <laughs> Spinnerbait. <laughs> yeah, but the nice ones came on the square bill. Yes, they did. Thanks, dude. If you remember, way back in the very beginning of this video, I lost the crankbait I was catching them on, so had to bum one off the mat. Right when I fluttered the blades. What kind of bass is that? What is that? It's a spot with no spots? Or like a red eye? Or what is that? Yeah, that's a... Kind of looks like a red eye, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, a... it's an odd one. Huh. I don't know. I was rolling that Mega Bass SV3. When I'm rolling that spinnerbait, I don't just slow roll. I'll get rolling and then I like to sort of pump that reel handle, just get my blades to flutter a little bit. And I do that a few times each cast. My, what I'm thinking is I try to give enough time for a bass to potentially be following and then I'll flutter it so that if they're chasing it, there's a break in cadence. And a lot of times I'll get bit right on that cadence break. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Today was the epitome of spring bass fishing. Started the day off, I was wearing a down jacket. We had to put rain gear on, but this is a southern storm blowing in. By the time it's over, Tim's wearing shorts. 
springtime is crazy. Highs and lows, right? That's just the way it goes. And you can see it in the fishing too. You know, all through the buyer's guides, we talked about so many different baits uh, for spring fishing. And, and you sort of see that today, right? We caught them on deep cranks, mid cranks, square bills, chatter baits, spinner baits, underspins. I mean, super shallow to super deep as you adapt to the changing conditions that are presented to you. Uh, that's just the way spring goes. Every time you go out, you wanna go out with an open mind. When you start getting feedback from those fish, just adapt with what you're seeing and you'll succeed. But this wraps up the video every day that we have been up to. Hopefully you guys loved that buyer's guide series. We enjoyed doing it for you. Uh, we are going back to our regular content now. So full length videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're back on our normal schedule. Guys, we appreciate you. We'll link everything we used in the video description. I mean, no question that ATV was the star today. That's what our better fish came on. Tim got a really good one on the tactical DD as well out deep. Uh, caught him on a mix of baits, but those best fish definitely came on that red. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.